Samsung Taco Lite, expected May 2009. Some mobile Gazette readers may think that the Samsung Taco Lite looks very familiar, and indeed it is, because this phone was announced a few weeks ago as the Samsung S5230. Nothing has changed except the name, but the Taco name indicates that Samsung are going to throw some weight behind marketing the Taco Lite. Broadly similar in specification to the LG Cookie, the Samsung Taco Lite is aimed at the lower end of the full-size touchscreen market. Behind the large 3.0-inch 240x400 pixel display with the well-liked TouchWiz interface, the Taco Lite is actually just a GSM-only phone with no support for 3G or Wi-Fi, plus a 3.2-megapixel camera with a flash and all the other usual features that you would expect such as a multimedia player and a web browser. Samsung are keen to stress the social network aspects of the Taco Lite. The TouchWiz interface uses widgets to allow access to MySpace, Facebook or YouTube, or alternatively users can upload photographs directly from the Taco Lite to the Internet. That's all very good, but remember that this phone lacks any high-speed data connectivity so watching videos may well be a bit on the slow side. So what exactly is the point of the Taco Lite? Isn't 3G and Wi-Fi support an essential in a big screen phone? Well perhaps. But there's no getting away from the fact that the similarly specified LG cookie has been very successful, retailing at just 150 euro SIM free, the cookie has sold very strongly, and it is clear that Samsung won a slice of that market too. It looks like a fun phone, and apart from the limited data speeds it seems to have all the cool features of much more expensive handsets. Although there's no exact word on pricing, we imagine that it will cost significantly less than €200 Euro or £150 SIM-free when it becomes available from May onwards.